Hey, how's it going? I hope you're doing all right. I hope the weather changing doesn't affect your mood too much this year. I have some things that I wanted to talk about just really really quick. How about I tell you who I am for starters? I'm Nellie D or Nellie Drayton, depending on how I'm feeling. In the beginning of a creative's journey, I am a firm believer that the love of reading and writing comes first because it lights the flame. It does something that involves a flame. I'm trying to sound poetic. Don't know if I'm going to be able to reach that, but that's not the main point. The main point is sharing some books that I have recently read. The wonderful, lovely, Artist, author, poet, performer, all of that good stuff. Rupee Core. Boom. Yes, I'm using this as a bookmark because why not? It has her information on it, but it comes with it on the book. And I like this because it's information and I'm an information kind of girl. Reading her book and having this information right here is teaching me new things. Rupee Core is a poet, artist, and performer. A breakout literary phenomenon and number one New York Times best-selling author. Isn't it pretty? Beautiful, worth every dime. Didn't care if it was 50 bucks or 100, I would have bought it. And I'm telling the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help my wallet. The book that I have been working in while working on my writer's touch, Healing Through Words. Another book that if it was, you know, 50 bucks or 100, I would have bought it. And I want to read one of the exercises that has kind of got me in a little tizzy. I'm not necessarily stuck or dealing with writer's block, but it has me dealing with emotions that I really have not understood about myself because of recent traumas that have flared up toxic behaviors that I know I display. So I've been working on my personal writing and what it is that I want to pour out into the world. I'm going to read one of my most recent poems at the end of this video, Healing Through Words. There are several different exercises throughout the entire book. Questions, I haven't made it far just yet because I'm working through each exercise personally and also writing in the book while writing in my own personal journal on the side to help me navigate the creative process of writing. I'm gonna read exercise three in Rupi Kaur's book, Healing Through Words. Letter writing, an exercise I do often, especially when I feel writer's block, which is what I was experiencing, what I'm still kind of experiencing, is letter writing. By leaning into something as personal and familiar as writing a letter, this exercise takes the pressure off of having to figure out what I'm going to write about on a day I feel stuck. Instead, my creative attention is directed toward what I already know, which is comforting. I also write to specific emotions I've been experiencing, for example, I've written many letters to fear. Doing so has helped me have a conversation and confront fear rather than try to bury it. I usually spend anywhere from 15, 30 minutes writing these letters. Below is a list of seven letter writing prompts for this exercise, select one and write your letter in the space provided. I wrote this at 11, 12 p.m. I did not put a date, so I probably was really hurting. Like a lot of people do that, by the way. They write dates and times or just times so that they can have a place of that memory and that writing piece because it puts you in a place. It's kind of like time traveling in a way. See what? Yeah. Now I'm reading my letter for exercise three. Dear abuse, I hate you. You come like a thief in the night. You strip away peace effortlessly. You live rent free in all of your victims. You take away so much energy. You are selfish. You suck the life out of all and leave nothing. You are not picky. What a shock. <clears throat> That was good. What a shock, not really. I really do hate you. You come and go like the wind, yet you stay like a shadow. You cling to those that push you away, but sit on the sidelines of those who turn a blind eye to your acts. You sit on the shoulders of your puppets and give them accolades. They wear you like a vintage watch. What a shock, no, not really. You suck, you stink, you're ugly. None of that will bother you though. As long as I speak of you, you are pleased. You delight yourself in the tireless tears and pain. You creep by doors and hope to be ensured that your presence is never ignored. You thrive on being dead yet alive. I really do hate you, but of course, what a shock because you will always be remembered 
but the good times will not. That's my letter to abuse. Um, After having a very deep conversation with someone that reminded me that I am my past, but I'm also my future. So instead of trying to bury the parts that I don't want to relive, I should write it. As I continue to put out in social media, on Instagram, on Twitter, on threads, on the community section of the YouTube page, and even on Patreon, I'm trying to work on just continuing to encourage and write because I know that one day, just like Rupi Kaur changed my life, I know that I can change someone else's shout out to healing through words whoop, 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 whoop. and to kind of wrap up this video because i i'm giving a book review that is my book review i'm participating in a poet's exercise i am not known to just pick up a book and want to participate because i'm stubborn i am not easily swayed sometimes i am labeled as difficult and hard because once my mind is set on something once something has been proven you cannot move me you cannot change me i am this way for a reason but i'm learning and i'm understanding more about myself so of course as i grow and as i get older i will change i want to read an entry that I'm going to put out one day. This was written at 8.30 a.m. I am finally here. I am at a place where I can always be near to love and hold you in your time of need, to watch you grow, grow tall like trees. You really are everything to me. I promise to give you all of me. You see, you didn't ask for this life. It is always my duty to make it right. That is why you see me smile because I'm willing to do anything to keep peace around. One day you will hear how I was evil and deathly, how my words were so messy. Yes, they will say I was a villain to all. And yes, I will say their stories stand quite tall. It is very truthful and I was very shrewd, but just like a hero, villains have stories too. And this is a letter to my daughter. I'm not going to go into too deep of why I wrote that because I feel like that's another conversation for another day. All I'm going to say is villains have stories too and that is why everybody should write. There is a quote that inspired me to write that. The way I interpreted this quote honestly helped me to perceive myself as being everything. That's fine. If you want to see me as a villain, you want to see me as... A monster you want to see me as a hero you want to see me as a lover you want to see me as a friend you want to see me as a bully that's fine that's a-okay because my responsibility is to take care of myself first and my daughter always until the lion learns how to write every story will glorify the hunter and it is by chunua achibi now here's the best part about this name I'm butchering it right now, but we're going to copy, paste his name, go to Google, and Google better tell us how to appropriately say the name. Chinua Chibi. I just butchered it. It was terrible. I tried my best. Oh my gosh, it's getting so dark. I couldn't even tell. Honestly, I think it's pretty cool that the sun set as quickly as it did while doing this video because you see it going down while I'm recording this video. It's like time's like... This video, again, is mainly just about reviewing Rupi Kaur and her books. Yes, every book that she has, I purchased it. You best believe it sure did. As soon as this was available in Target, oh, I was in there. So just so she knows, I be in Target. I don't mind purchasing books on Amazon, but it's just not the same. To be able to scan it while you're in the store, come on. Another thing that I really love is the drawings that she has. And in this 10th anniversary book she has notes about her thought process when she was writing the poem or notes from others that she's close to i will say one of the things i love the most about this book is the very beginning because i like to learn the origin story of people but i like hearing reading seeing the origin story one and a half months before publication of her first book she had a journal entry that she put in here put the time in the first line so that's pretty much the video